What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Game Battles. Now before we begin this fully, just, I'm sorry for the delay, like again with honest reviews I apologise for the delay, I know it's taken forever. It's just I've had a lot of other projects in mind that I took care of first. They got taken care of and now we're back with game battles. I was supposed to be doing a different games thing, game battle, but I've decided to go with this one because I forgot about the other one and basically I thought this would be more fun to record. So without further ado, let's get talking about Super Smash Bros. Melee versus Smash Bros. Brawl. Enjoy. Okay, so now let's talk about what's good about Melee. Okay, so Melee has these cutscenes like you just saw then, which I think are really, really nice additions. But, at the same time, Melee has some nice stages, it, the characters feel balanced, and, and also the sound effects and music for the time are great. The graphics aren't the best, but that's, I'm, I'm talking about the positives, not the negatives. But, one thing I can say about Melee is its adventure mode. It does feel very linear compared to other games. I know Smash 4, like, up this a bit more, which I can appreciate, but at the same time, not so much. This game is praised for its competitiveness and how fast it is, and also the, the method of unlock, which I can understand why, but at the same time, I don't, because this isn't my favorite Smash. But other than that, Melee has good stages, some nice presentation, Good sound effects and, and music, and also a very nice, you know, a nice style, if you get what I mean. Okay, so now let's talk about Brawl's positives. Okay, so Brawl is notorious for the game that introduced everyone's favourite fighters, such as Meta Knight, Snake, and Sonic. But, obviously, Snake didn't stay. He's coming back in Ultimate, but he didn't stay for after Brawl, which is kind of unfortunate, because Snake is a good character, and also his stage is pretty good as well. But Brawl has amazing graphics for a Wii game, even without HDMI. And also the, the game's, you know, classic mode, which is just, you know, follow your path while, you know, fighting bosses to get to Master Hand and whatnot. It does feel very linear, just like Melee's does. But at the same time, it can feel a little bit more extensive at times, because not every match is predictable, if you get what I mean. It's It can vary in difficulty sometimes, even if you have it on easy or not. It does feel new every time, or maybe it's just because you haven't played the game for a long time. But another positive about Brawl is that you can plug a GameCube controller into your Wii to use if you do not like using Wiimote, which is really, really nice for the fans. You couldn't do this on Smash 4, but now you can do this on Ultimate for when that releases as well, which is really good thinking of Sakurai. Also, another good thing about Brawl, its character roster is really, really extensive. Now, in Melee, we literally had under 20 characters, but in Brawl, we have over 20 characters, and which will then go on to 50 characters, which is bizarre. But that doesn't mean 50 characters is bad, it's, really, it's good, because it opens up more opportunity for collectibles and also a wider variety of gamers to join. But the one thing I can say about Brawl, which I'm not too keen on, is its realistic character models. Because if you look at Mario up close, his overalls are really realistic, which is nice at all, it just doesn't suit the Smash style. Smash 4 did fix this, but it doesn't really suit it, which is something I didn't really like about Smash 4. Now let's talk about Melee's disadvantages. Melee isn't as open to gamers, because Melee's style is a competitive style of Smash. It's fast and it's furious, no pun intended. But that isn't what I'm trying to say, which is bad about Melee. I'm not going to show its graphics because I know it's an old game, the GameCube had the limitations, as every console does, but GameCube was kind of high. But I'm not going to point that out because that would be unfair. I like Melee's characters, I like the roster, considering it's small, I like the roster. I like its style as well, I just don't like how fast it is. But, let's talk about balancing here. All the characters on this list are kind of balanced. The only character I can point out that is extremely bullshit is Link. Because with Link, you have to stand still and mash A, and then you will instantly get everyone to like 80% to do a smash attack, and they will fly off the screen. Link is extremely broken in Melee, which is something I didn't really like. But at the same time, what can you expect? It's a competitive game with different strategies from newcomers and whatnot. So you have to give it a break. But another disadvantage about Melee, in my opinion, is how linear it is. 
Yes, I know it's only a beginner type, it's the second Smash game, you can't flow that much. But at the same time, I didn't like how linear its story was. But it wasn't much of a story, it was more, you know what I mean, like the adventure mode thing. I didn't like it, it felt really linear for some reason. I don't know what it is that, it's, that makes it feel linear. It's just one of those things that you cannot explain properly, you know, without having to make your mind blow up in thought. But Melee's camera, as you can see on this stage here, it can be really nice and get some really nice shots and cinematic, you know, views and stuff. Also, the game's soundtrack is nice, but what, what is the disadvantage of it? It can get a little bit repetitive at times, because I can listen to these tracks quite often, but not very often, if you know what I mean. Also, the fight against Giga Bowser at the end of the Adventure Mode thing, that is, um, yeah, I don't like it. And I'm sorry, all those fans, I really don't like it. Also, there's no um, final smash in this game, which does make it a little bit worse in my opinion, because if this game had a final smash in it, this would be really nice. Okay, so now let's talk about Brawl's disadvantages. The game's slow. I will uh, happily admit that right now. The game is slow. Not it's not just its loading time. That's that's fine. It's it's just the way you know. It's just compared to melee, the game is is a much slower pace and it just doesn't flow as well at times. But this is something I personally like about it. But which but it does bring the game down to a bit of a halt because I know the Smash community loves melee and how fast it is and how excessive it can be to the fan base of you know fighter like fighter best people. But this game is for the beginners, essentially. If you were to play Melee, I would play this first and then move to Melee. Because this game is a lot slower paced, and I personally think it does fit the newer audience a lot better. But that's just my opinion personally. If, you're, if you are into fighting games and you think you're able to control this, go ahead and jump straight into Melee. But I would recommend this first. And also, a disadvantage about Brawl is that the characters in this game, as balanced as they are, they just feel really, really lacking at times. Like, I think Mr. Game and Watch could have done with a few improvements. I mean, yes, I know there was a few newcomers as well, like Rob and Sonic and Snake, but they could have done with a little bit of a boost because some characters feel really underpowered and some feel really overpowered. But that is just, you know, you know, it's player preference. Some people can get good with others that others can't. You know, if because everyone's uh, everyone's been heard on that. Also, the soundtrack in this game is good. The stages are nice. Yeah, this the well, the, like the added melee stages back, which is nice. But the one thing that really I do not like about stages, the stage builder. Holy shit! This is like GD's level editor, but garbage. Because yes, it's made to make you on stages to probably torture you and your friends. But it's just not really extensive to most people. It's kind of difficult to use if you don't know what you're doing. And also, it can just be very, very like it can be just messy. It's, 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 I can't speak. It's just very messy. So that's another thing I can think about melee that just brings it down to a halt. Not melee, sorry, brawl that just brings it down in terms of quality, which is a shame because brawl's level builder could have made for so much potential, but it was eventually expanded on. Now let's talk about the music. Many people know melee's theme. A lot of, when they hear melee's theme, they get goosebumps. They're like, "Oh yeah, Smash Brothers, he's definitely." I'll play. I'll play it in the background now for you. But everyone recognises this theme, they love it to death. Don't get me wrong, I like it as well, and I just don't like it as much as the other smashes, I don't think. But, that doesn't mean it's not a good tune, it is a nice tune. But also, you have stage music, and what and whatnot. But, there aren't as many tracks, because there aren't as many stages, and not as many like characters and shit to go with and that. But, that doesn't mean it's bad, because this is a good soundtrack. Don't get me wrong, the menu theme as well is very, very recognisable. Everyone knows this theme. It's what they associate with GameCube itself and the controller, which is demonstrated in Smash Bros. Ultimate's uh, teaser trailer, because Sakurai uses this as the GameCube controller's theme in a way, which is nice, it's nice. But this has a, it's a really nice soundtrack, but it's just, it's just kind of dull. Now let's talk about Brawl. Oh my god. This game's soundtrack is way more epic than it needed to be. Just listen to this main theme right now. I'm gonna turn this up for you now. Just listen to this main theme. Holy 
this gets me hyped up for it to play Smash Brothers, because you could load up the game, see all the characters whiz past the screen, and then this starts playing. I would sit through that shit. I am not joking. I sit through that. But then you have the game's menu theme, which a lot of people recognise and I adore. I love this theme, honestly god, the Smash Brothers Brawl theme is my favourite Smash Bros theme of all time, and it's also my favourite Smash game, so they go well. They also included the, the melee theme for all those fanboys and whatnot, which is a nice touch, but I don't know. Also, the you know they've got all the themes for the characters and their levels, which is, which is nice as well, but also, the Final Destination theme in this game is better than it was in Melee, I think. And also, I mean, Jesus Christ, the, the fight with Master Hand, the, the, uh, the music for that, which I'll not play now because I've appeared to have lost it. Aha. Let's like Master Hand's theme. Now that is final boss music. Like, don't get me wrong, Smash Melee does have some nice Final Destination music, but this is what you call final boss music. Jesus Christ. It does make you sound like you're fighting the big bad. It's a shame Subspace Emissary couldn't deliver on its amazing, like, when people heard of a Smash Story mod in Brawl, everyone was like, oh my god, this is going to be amazing, but Subspace Emissary was shit, I'll be honest. And it's a shame that it couldn't reuse these elements to make it epic. I mean, because the story was lackluster, and spoiler alert, it all ends because Sonic comes out of nowhere and just kills the butterfly thing. Like, it's a very lazy ending. But, apart from that, Smash Brothers Brawl has a fucking amazing soundtrack. I love it to death. I'm, I'm planning on remixing its main theme one day. Okay, so what is overall the better game? In my opinion, Brawl. I think Brawl smashes Melee out of the competition, not only because this was my first ever Smash game and I have lots of nostalgia for it, but because I just love the feel of this game. I think it feels really nice to control, the character de designs are really nice, the graphics are amazing, the soundtrack's brilliant, it obviously it controls nice, the characters are balanced, the, the roster is extensive as fuck, so it's really like diverse to people. It's really open to newcomers as well. The story mod was pretty shit, I will admit, that's the one bad thing about it. But as well, it's honest to God, this game overall is an it's a nice, it's a really really nice addition to the Smash franchise. I love this game. I own it on the Wii. I can't. I don't own uh, Melee on disc simply because that shit is expensive, and I am not blisting forty pound on Melee when I have it on Dolphin. So I don't see the point, to be honest. Not until I have a lot of money to just spend on Melee. But other than that, Brawl, in my opinion, is the better Smash game, and will forever be my favorite Smash game. Until Ultimate comes out. But if you want, I will talk about Smash 4 versus Smash 4 on the Wii U, you know, the 3DS versus Wii U version. I'll be more than happy to talk about them one day. But you, what, what do you, what, what do you guys think? What should my next honest, not honest reviews? What do you think my next game battle should be? You know, should it be SpongeBob the Movie versus Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, Smash 4 3DS versus Smash Wii U, or perhaps something like Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2? You know, you guys, let me know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. So, thank you for watching this video of Game Battles. I hope you enjoy. Let me know which Smash game you think is better and why. And I will, of course, see you all in the next video of mine. Take care. Peace out.